guys, it's Lucky Girl B, and I am doing another update vlog. And this is a very special one because we just hit a couple of milestones. We have gotten to 5,000 subs, and we've actually gone past that. So number one, thank you guys so much for that. But that's not what we're really here for. We're really here for the two-year anniversary of this channel. Uh... <laughs> two two years I didn't think I'd be doing this for two years because I didn't think I would have enough ideas to keep going but you guys seem to like the ideas I come up with and I appreciate it a lot so now let's get the party started but first I want to do a couple of shout outs as I said on my patron page and campaign I do shout outs for people who donate and we had two donators this month so our first donator was Brittany who donated to our Patreon campaign. Thank you so much Brittany. She pledged $5 and I appreciate it. I truly do. We also have Sim Gillian who donated to my YouTube tip jar. And once again Sim Gillian thank you very much. I remember when I didn't have the Sims 4 Creative Sim demo and you actually loaned me your copy so that I could do my Creative Sim Let's Play. So you are just amazing. Thank you so much. Okay so now let's get into the questions. I told you guys to send me in your questions and a lot of you sent me a lot of questions and I was reading through all of them and I made sure I screen capped all of them so I'm gonna get through all your questions now some of you asked a lot of the same questions so I'll put them all together and answer them all at once so here's our first question if you have any who are your celebrity crushes I think pretty much everyone who knows me knows that I'm desperately in love with Robert Pattinson <laughs> I love him in everything I first saw him in Twilight and I fell in love with him and I know he was in Harry Potter first but I didn't catch him in that I saw him in Twilight first and I've been obsessed with him ever since um, I used to really like Justin Timberlake but I grew out of that and embarrassingly I had a thing for Adam Sandler I don't know why I thought he was cute and and now I look up like what was I thinking no are you and your boo thing thinking of getting married or thinking of having kids? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> That's personal. That's personal. Okay? Don't gotta rush anything, alright? <laughs> so well, I'm not allowed to answer it. So I would say yes, just not right now. Will you consider making the Bad Girls Club? I thought that was a really cute idea. I've actually seen a few people do The Sims uh, Bad Girls Club. And they did like the voiceover from the actual Bad Girls Club. Which I, I love that show. Um, I probably wouldn't do it like that. I would probably just have it be a story about di the different girls in the house and stuff like that. So I don't know. I think I would like to do that. We'll have to wait and see because I do have a lot of LPs already planned for this year. What inspired you to create Cinnamon and the Baby Mama LP? By the way, Baby Mama is number one and made me subscribe to your channel. Oh, thank you. Well, I think honestly, real life inspired me. I mean, I don't know. Like, I, I think of just, I watch a lot of Maury. <laughs> and it, it, it's just something that, you know, is very dramatic, but it's also real life. There are women who have lots of baby daddies and they have lots of kids. And they're all about, you know, they love their children, but they're also all about their money. And I just wanted to run with that character. And Cinnamon, I just wanted to think of a really funny name. And I think Cinnamon is something that's unforgettable. Who can forget Cinnamon Jones? And Craig! Everybody love Craig! <laughs> In The Sims, do you ever have an alien baby? Um, I've never had an alien baby in The Sims 3. I've had one in The Sims 2. Uh, I think, what what's that town? I think it was, uh, Pleasant View? Was it Pleasant View? I think it might have been Pleasant View where Don Lothario was looking out of a telescope and he got pregnant and I think the animation for that is really cute I haven't had an alien baby in The Sims 3 yet but I actually do have plans for a Sims 3 alien based LP so there might be an alien baby in there somewhere 
More details on that later. How old are you and what's your favorite food? On February 28th, I turned 28. So I'm 28 years old and my favorite food is somewhere in between baked macaroni and cheese, which I follow my grandma's recipe to a T. And um, I also really love pizza. And it's a pizza place not too far from my house and they like make the best pizza ever. So it's one of those two. We should put baked macaroni and cheese on top of the pizza. That'd be awesome. Would you ever want to be an actress or a director? Um, no to both of those. I have horrible stage fright, so I could not be an actress. And I'm not very good about telling people what they need to do, so I don't think I would, would be able to be a director. I can boss people I know around. I can't boss people I don't know around. <laughs> How do you wake up so early to post videos? I love the idea, though. I watch your videos in the morning and I'm happy. Aww. Well, actually, I don't wake up that early to post videos. I do wake up early, but not to post videos. My videos actually scheduled. I try to record them at least a day or two ahead of time. If I'm lucky enough, I can get them done a week ahead of time. But I'm always so busy with the next project that I can't worry about the last one and making sure the next video will be up. Why and when did you start playing The Sims? I got The Sims in 2005, I think. Don't quote me because I might be wrong. It might have been, might have been in the end of 2004, but definitely sometime near 2005. I got my very first laptop and I didn't have any games to play on it. And I went to the store and I just saw The Sims 2 box for the base game. And I, I just read the, the back of it for a little while. I'm like, this was cute. And I've never heard of The Sims before. I never even heard of The Sims 1 or anything. And I got it and I brought it home. And I've been playing it ever since. It's just, it was so different from any other game I tried to play. It wasn't a scary game. It wasn't a short game. It wasn't like storylines or anything. It was just you could make the game whatever you wanted it to be. And the very first household I ever made was I made my entire family and we all lived in one house and then I made my best friend and her family and she lived right next door to me and we would I would make our sims go out and hang out with each other and stuff like that and then we had a wedding at my house and her grandmother died on the lawn <laughs> it was sad but it was funny we had to quit the game and not save <laughs> Would you consider doing a Let's Play about your life? I have considered doing that. Um, I don't know if I actually will. Maybe one day I will. I would like to show you my life story. I don't know if it would be a fiction or non-fiction version of my life, but I might do that one day. Who inspired you to start a YouTube channel? Um, actually Undead Domain inspired me. I created Lucky Girl B. I'm her manager. Not really. <laughs> Number one, my mama created me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he started doing the Minecraft videos and he wanted me to do Minecraft with him. And I want to practice recording for Minecraft. So I did uh, the very first Sims 3 LP, which is the Broke Firefighter. I uploaded it two years ago today. And people really seem to be enjoying it, so then I just kept doing it, and I never stopped. <laughs> so that's just how it all started. It all started with Undead Domain wanting me to play Minecraft, and me disregarding that and wanting to play The Sims. <laughs> when you first start your YouTube, did you feel weird recording The Sims? Yes. Incredibly. In fact, I think if you look at maybe my first 20 videos, I sound nervous, I'm not as fun as and bubbly. I I really thought my voice sucked and that everyone was gonna hate my voice and tell me that it sounded bad and that I wasn't being funny and I was boring. And I didn't get that response at all. A lot of people told me that they actually liked the sound of my voice and I was like, okay, well I guess I'm hearing it a lot differently in my own head than you guys are hearing it. So it actually helped me get over that just to hear your guys' feedback saying, this is good, keep going. 
So, yeah, so I felt weird at the beginning. And sometimes I still feel weird when I'm about to record. I'm, I'm thinking about what am I going to say? How am I going to say it? I, you know, it's, it's something I'm still working on. That's why I tell a lot of people, if you feel nervous when you're trying to start recording for the first time, just be yourself. Don't worry about how you sound. I know you like The Walking Dead, so what's your favorite character? Mine is Sasha and Carl. I think my favorite character is Michonne. I love this past season when she just punched out Rick when he was like spouting on and on about who you have to kill and not kill. And I was just like, yeah, shut up, Rick. And she just punched him right at the right moment. I love her. Can you play Beyond Two Souls? Or can you start a new Let's Play about a girl living alone and she has two twins but kicked out of her home? That's very specific. Um, Beyond Two Souls. I'm... <sighs> don't... Games like that, they don't appeal to me. Like, sometimes I'll watch other people play those type of games, but I never play them. That's just not my thing. Uh, the Let's Play idea? Hmm, it could happen. You never know. I may need an idea one day and may come back to this comment one day. When you become super famous... <gasps> super famous? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Will you read the comments and remember your loyal subbies? I love you. Bye, Lucky. Oh, I love you too. And then, yes, I'm going to stay loyal to my subbies. I can't forget you guys. And super famous. <laughs> Let's say I'll be super famous. I don't think one day I'll be, like, super, super famous. Um, If I do become super, super famous one day, it's only going to be because of you guys. So I'm not going to be able to forget you. Will you do a Baby Mama 2 spinoff with Shatifa or Devon or Jaquan or Daishiki? I am definitely going to do a Baby Mama 3. So there will be a spinoff. Um, I don't know who the main character will be. Honestly, I thought even two weeks ago I knew who the main character for Baby Mama 3 was going to be. And now I'm not so sure. I really don't know who the main character is going to be. Would you be open to the idea of doing a Real Housewives style LP with a load of women with gangsters or hood people trying to get money but make the families keep fighting and their business clash and cause drama? That sounds like a really great idea but it sounds more like it would be a Machinima style let's play and I'm not very good at Machinimas just because I'm a very impatient person and those things take a lot of time and patience and it, it would probably be a long machinima. I can do short ones, I can't do long ones. So I might be open to the idea of doing it one day once I really know how to make a good machinima but right now I, I would have to really research how to make a really good one because I do love all the Sims, Real Housewives. I, I watch the Starlight Shores all the time oh my god it's so good it's like one of those shows where you guys sit down and like eat your popcorn and watch it so yeah maybe one day i'm not gonna say no but i'm not gonna say yes i'm just gonna say maybe hopefully i can ask more than one question but what do you use to record your gameplay <laughs> um i use either Bendicam or sometimes i use a tube catcher uh it's a free program and i really like it how many children will you want to have or do you have any? No, I do not have any kids. I'm not a baby mama. Sorry about it. Um, how many kids would I like to have? I would like to only have one or two kids. Well, she's probably going to have three. Three. I have no choice, three. apparently. I have no choice, apparently. I will also add to that, everyone makes fun of me and says that I'm going to have twins because Undead Domain is a twin and he also has twin sisters. So everyone is wishing twins on me. You have kids. Do you ever want kids? Why are you guys all up in my uterus? <laughs> Lucky, can you please make an Instagram so I can follow you because I can't get Twitter or Facebook. Instagram. You can ask me about Instagram. I guess I'll get Instagram. I'll look into getting Instagram. I have a sucky phone, so I can't get Instagram on my phone. I have a tablet now, so maybe I'll get Instagram on my tablet. I'll see. I'll see. When you hit 10,000 subs or bigger, will you start ignoring us? No. I will not start ignoring you. And 
I'm, I'm not trying to really defend everyone, but I will say this and not just about Simmers, any Let's Player, Vlogger, YouTube personality, puppy dog, whoever on YouTube. I don't think that they're necessarily ignoring you once they get bigger. I know for me, I get about 50 comments or messages a day. It doesn't sound like a lot, but like if you're not tied down to your computer all day long, you don't have time to answer everyone's question. Especially like if people ask you the same question over and over, you figure if you answer it once, maybe they'll see the, the other time you answered it, you know, and and I know that uh, once you start getting bigger and bigger, more comments and messages are going to come. And I think it gets a little overwhelming to answer all the questions. I couldn't imagine being at like a hundred thousand subs or something and getting like like a thousand or two thousand, three thousand comments a day and trying to answer all of them. You would never sleep or get work done. But I will say this, I will try my best for as long as I can to always answer your questions and respond to your comments. Um, I know every now and then I do miss a few, so I will tell you right now I'm sorry for that. But most of the time it's because it's a question I've already answered and if you look in like the rest of the comment section you may see it already. But just know that I'm never going to intentionally ignore you. It's, it'll be by accident. I pinky promise. Pink, pink. We're gonna, we're gonna pinky promise. Pink, pinky promise. Pinky promise. How do you come up with your ideas for your let's plays? Um, once again, real life. Real life inspires me a lot. Um, I spend a lot of my time watching documentaries on TV and watching reality TV. I like educational shows, I like dramas, I like comedies, I like horror, I'm um, not so much into action, but I, I, I like to watch a lot of different things. I also like to read, I read a few different books that inspired some of my less plays as well. My Prom Night LP just came out yesterday and that is directly from real life. Undead Domain's niece Samantha just had her prom and she looked gorgeous in her dress. My little cousin Nini is going to her prom and it's just very nostalgic of when I went to my junior high prom. And I know a lot of you guys are probably going to prom soon or your prom has already passed. We never get to see a Sims 3 prom because we can't go inside the building. We should definitely experience it at least once time. You know, if you guys haven't checked that video out, I'll leave a link in the description and you should go watch it right now. It will make you laugh, maybe cry, and just have a good time. Will you be making a Habs Lifestyle of a Rich Sim Season 2? Um, no. And only because that was a collaboration. And that would mean me going and asking all the people who were involved in the collaboration would they be okay with me making another season two because the concept was actually not my own it came from my friend Mark Stone over at Sims World TV and I also did with my girl Passions who I am going to start a Minecraft series with soon on her channel so when that comes out you guys should check that out what's your favorite Sims game of all time I guess my favorite sims game do you mean expansion packer game i'm gonna just assume game in general um i will say for the pc my favorite sims game is the sims 3 for a long time i refused to get to the sims 3 because i was so in love with the sims 2 but since there's so many mods for the sims 3 now it's my favorite and it looks really great um and for the console, my favorite Sims game is actually the Herb Sim in the City. I play that constantly. I will play it over and over again. What is your favorite aspect of the Sims game? And what is your favorite Sim that you've made? Hmm. My favorite Sim that I've ever made? I think I'm going to say LaDonna. I think LaDonna was one of my favorite Sims. And her personality is just like no other. Like, she's a hot mess, and I love LaDonna. I think my favorite aspect of The Sims, just because I'm so, like, it's a color wheel. It's, that sounds crazy, but it's the color wheel. I love the color wheel. 
<laughs> I, I think I just love it so much because with The Sims 4 and The Sims 2, you don't have that color wheel. And you can't custom create everything exactly the way you want it to be without downloading the same object in like a million different colors. I love the color wheel. I mean, besides the color wheel, though, I just love the fact that you play God. You are God in The Sims. Who would want to be a deity? That's awesome. What was your favorite LP to film currently? Huh, my favorite LP. This is gonna sound morbid. My favorite LP so far was Cinnamon Jones Funeral. I cracked up and was dying while recording. And that is so rude when you are filming a funeral. But I had so much fun. What's your favorite custom content piece in The Sims 3 that you have? Oh, I have to pick one? In general, I'm just going to say hair. Because Sims base game and expansion pack clothing, I can live with. I cannot live with their hair. So I just, all the hair, all the hair. I need all the hair. I love you. By the way, can you tell us about your family and friends? And can you also subscribe to me on my YouTube channel, please? If you want to. I love your shameless plug. I will check out your channel. About my family and friends. Well, to me, my family and my friends are kind of one and the same. Um, I have an amazing mom. I have tons of cousins. And I have um, Undead Domains family feel like family to me. And they're amazing I have my bestie and her family and they're awesome and I just have a lot of people in my life that I am grateful for and I love hanging out with them and seeing them what expansion packs do you have for the Sims 2 and the Sims 3 I have all the expansion packs um, even for the Sims 2 I have all the stuff packs for the Sims 3 I have not bothered to buy um, stuff packs just because I felt like I could get so much from custom content for free that I wouldn't pay $20 to get like a few free outfits and hairstyles. I didn't think it was worth my time. If you ever do Colony 13 Season 3, can you give us like an idea of the storyline? By the way, love your sass, girl. Oh, thank you. Colony 13 Season 3 is going to happen. It will not happen until this fall slash maybe winter I'm not sure yet um what will the storylines be I don't know yet cuz I haven't written the rough draft yet how long do you think you're gonna make cinnamon's legacy last I love it I don't know I don't know how long her story is gonna continue and her family story continue I hope it continues for a long time and it's still entertaining have you seen any Sims 2 or Sims 3 voiceover series on YouTube. My favorite is Life is a Beach by Twisted TV Show. I've seen it. I love it. I'm, I'm like you guys. When I'm not recording these videos, I'm watching Sims videos. That's one of my favorite things to do. Like, I can get lost in watching YouTube videos. What made you think to not act as other Simmers and be so original? I don't think I'm original, I just think I'm being me. Just like I don't think any other Simmer is like copying any other Simmer. I think they're just being them. So I don't think I'm that original. But thank you for saying I am because everyone wants to be original. Just like everybody else. What are your favorite things to do when you're not playing The Sims? Okay, when I'm not playing The Sims, my favorite things to do. Um, binge watching Netflix. Uh binge watching other youtubers less plays uh, it doesn't just have to be the sim it could be anything I love playing GTA 5 reading Twilight watching the Twilight movies talking about Twilight Twilight oh and Hunger Games <laughs> I like to watch the Hunger Games <laughs> man everyone is asking about kids okay I got some do you have a pet? And if you don't, what would you want? What's your favorite animal? Um, I don't have any pets. Um, I love cats and I love dogs and I've had many cats. I've had three cats. They were all Siamese. I wish I had pictures of them 
maybe I can try and find pictures of them. But yeah, I love cats, and cats are easy to take care of, and they're sweet, and they shed, which isn't good, but you know, they're trying to make you a sweater so you can stay warm, so it's cute. And I love dogs, and I want a dog, I actually want two dogs. I want to get a little chihuahua and name it Assassin, and I want to get like a big Rockweiler, or a Doberman Pinscher, or, or a Pitbull, and I want to name it either Fluffy, or Baby, or Princess. I want to throw people off when they come to my house. But, oh, if you think Princess is big, wait till you see Assassin. <laughs> Are you in a relationship? Well, we answered that question, kind of, but I guess not fully. So, yes, I'm in a relationship with Undead Domain. Yo. What's up? Back <laughs> off, my girl. Back off, my girl. Go away. Back, back, back off. Back off. I'm coming for you. Go away. <laughs> So yeah, we've been together for almost four years now. So yay, our, our anniversary will be in October. And we live together now and that's going pretty good. I don't want to kill him every day, just every other day. Will you ever put Cinnamon and Raffinate family up for download? Um, you know, I'm not very, I'm like, I know how to download everything to the Sims 3 gallery. I just never do because I'm lazy. So maybe one day I'll do it. I don't know. Where do you see yourself in two years? Um, anything can happen. So I can't say for sure. I just know I want to be happy. How about that? In two years, I would like to be happy. I would like to be in my happy place. All then. Hmm. How can you be so original and so funny and not have 500,000 subs? It boggles the mind. Happy anniversary! Well, thank you. It boggles my mind too. Well, that's it, you guys. We're out of questions. And I want to thank you guys so much for sending me your questions. I really enjoyed reading them. And I hope you guys got all the answers you've been waiting for. Once again, I want to thank you for celebrating this two-year anniversary with me, and I hope we're here in another two years and beyond. I love you guys, and I will see you all later. Bye! Okay, Jody has had enough. She may not actually want Nick, but she doesn't want this other chick to have him either. Hey, listen, he's my date now, so back off. Well, Nick seems happy about that. <laughs> well, you heard her, chick. Back on up. That's Nick's date now. Aw, uh, jealousy conquers all. Sorry, sweetheart, but no one's gonna pick the girl in the lemon lime dress.